in this video i'm going to show you how to design a flyer like this for phone sales phone repairs and any other type of sales that includes phones or gadgets in photoshop and this is coming up <laughs> hi everybody innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that i'll be using so you can download them and practice and in case you do and you want to send it for review you can send it through instagram or on twitter now in this video i'm going to show you how to make only the flyer aspect of this video but you can also turn this into a banner design for when you want to sell phones when you want to design for repair shops and all those things now let's get into photoshop and let's get started so we are going for the normal whatsapp status let's assume that we want to sell our things on normal whatsapp status and then on social media so we create a 4 by 4 inch size and then we are going to click on create first off you are going to add our background and mind you i'm using photoshop 2021 but this should work with any version that you are using so we go to file place embedded and then we can add our background so this is the background that i used you can bring it inside of photoshop if you are designing it as a banner you can keep it the normal horizontal like this and open it up but since we are going for the kind of square let's right click and rotate this so you right click once you bring it in and you have the transformation controls you right click and then you can rotate it clockwise or anti-clockwise anyhow you want it of course and then we are going to open this up a little bit like that and open this down slightly like that you just make sure that you drag it to the part that you want we can still open it up some more so let's try open it up some more now surprisingly this is the only background that we are going to use all right so now we can go ahead and bring in our gadgets so for the gadgets i got some couple of iphones because the person that wanted me to design this was selling iphones so we go into our resource and the first item that we are going to bring is already a png file so you can just bring it in without having to remove the background and if you want to know how to get some of these png you might want to check out this video so you are going to take your time to position it in the middle you can press ctrl a to make sure it is just like that it is in the middle like this let's make it a bit smaller and then you position it in the middle now after this we are going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j you press ctrl t you right click and then you are going to flip this vertical this is going to make a duplicate and then it is going to turn it upside down so that you can position it underneath of your actual phones so once you have it like this the next step is you're going to lower the opacity you can do that by going to the opacity over here and lowering it or if you want to save yourself time you can use your numeric keys so when you press on two it is going to set it to 20 percent one is 10 percent four is 40 percent and five is 50 percent so anyhow you want it you are going for that now we're going to bring in our second iphone and then we are going to bring this one here you can use this as well so when you download the files you can try with any of them now we are going to unlock this you go to window and then you go to property and then you are going to tell photoshop to remove the background for you so click on remove background now this is going to remove everything and even remove some of the parts of the iphone but don't worry we are going to fix this asap you realize that it has given you some layer mask over here so you make sure that you select that layer mask remember with layer mask black means you are getting rid of and white means you are getting it back or you are revealing so now that it has taken off our background what we want to do is we want to switch our colors to white and black so you are going to use the x to switch it to the white that means that white is going to bring it back you're going to select your brush tool and you're going to paint this back now mind you if you right click you can select the hardness or push the hardness to 100 percent so that it can bring it back way faster this is not getting rid of it so you don't have to keep it zero percent you can keep it 100 percent and bring all of this back so you just paint over Now, once you have this you can then drag it into the files that you are working on someone would ask why aren't you using the latest versions actually the person that wanted me to do this was selling most of the 
older versions as compared to the newer versions and that is why so if you are selling let's say iphone 12 13 14 pro max you can actually make use of these ones instead of these ones here okay so we leave it right over there and the background matches with the iphone color it makes sense so now we can go ahead and add our test and our call icon this is going to end way faster than i even thought so let's go for our test and then we are going to use poppins semi bold and then you are going to type iphones for sale you press ctrl t and then you make sure that it is bigger enough to cover the top part and you make sure that you center it as well and you can push it up slightly like that now right click on it go to the blending options and we want to add a shadow to it so you select your shadow over here and depending on how you want it you can play with the adjustment here here is the spread this is the size and the distance and all that you can also play with the opacity the more you open it up the more it becomes deeper when you drag it to the left side it becomes way lesser so once you're done with this you can go ahead and click ok now we want to make a duplicate of this drag it down here and then we are going to replace it with the next test so this one is going to say we sell all types of iphones and if you have a different details you can put it over there. maybe we deal in iphone 14 pros and all that only you can just put anything over there i'll be getting a concept and now you can push it over here that means that we can bring this down slightly so let's go and select our iphone and then the copy and then we can bring it down slightly okay so that means we can also bring the resell something something down here a little bit like that and then we are going to add our details this can be your social media your your whatsapp number or your phone number in this case he gave me only the phone number so we are going to choose the rounded rectangle create a rounded rectangle very small one like this and then we are going to put in the phone number so you make sure that it is white press ctrl a and then you can center it or perhaps it can come that side but we are going to place the call icon over here so this is fine and then of course you choose your test to make sure that you are holding shift so that you'll be able to write in the circle and then you are going to paste your number over there this number can be anything dark that can be seen so something like that should be fine and then press ctrl a make sure that it is centered and then you take your time to position it now we go back into our resource file and then we are going to bring in the call icon so you double click on that and then it comes in right over here now you are going to adjust it to the size that you want and then you can position it right over here black on blue is not something for us so we right click go to the blending options and then we can add a color overlay so you select your color overlay and then you give it the color that you want it can be the light blue or something like this area something like this can be seen but i prefer to go with white so that it keeps all of this uniform and then you can click on ok you take your time and then you position it nicely the next thing we want to add to this will be some design elements so we are going inside of our resource and then we bring the design elements over here as well so we are not going to use all of these but we are going to use a selected portion of it the first part that we want to use is this dotted lines over here so you can go for your rectangular marquee tool and then you can make a selection of the portion that you want to use press ctrl j and it is going to duplicate it for you and then you can send it into your design so at this point you can press ctrl t to transform it right click and then you are going to rotate it either clockwise or anti-clockwise either way should work fine and then you are going to rotate it some more and position it at the place that you want to position it it can be smaller if you want it to be and then you can click ok back to the element the other portion that we want to use is this particular one over here but remember we just created another one here so you have to delete that so that you don't get confused so you select the rectangular marquee to again make another selection and then ctrl j to duplicate that you will send it into our design and then you press ctrl t to transform it neatly like that and since this is already black we can give it a color white and remember we just gave this particular color white so we can hold alt drag the effect or the fx onto it and then it is going to change to white for us press ctrl t and then i can transform this nicely like that and the last thing that we are going to bring in so again we are going to delete this one we are going to bring all of these ones on the port on this side so we select our rectangular marquee to make sure that we select from this portion till this side 
press ctrl j to duplicate that and then we can bring it inside of our design and make sure that we repeat the same process and then you can hold alt drag the effect onto it and it will also turn white for you and yes you're done with your design but what if you want to easily alternate the colors of the background it is easy you are just going to locate your background this is our background on top of our background we are going to create what is known as a hue and saturation so you go to the layer adjustment over here and then you choose the hue and saturation it is going to create an adjustment on top of it and if you drag the hue to the right side this is what you're going to have what do you think so this is something that you can have these are all colors that you can have if you drag it to the left side to these these are all colors that you could have but i think this works pretty much for me this looks good from all these areas looks good which color is your favorite let me know in the comment section so yeah if you don't want it as well or maybe you do it like this and later you don't want it all that you need to do is you're going to turn off this layer adjustment and then you have your original colors back in the beginning of the video i told you that you can as well incorporate this in the form of a banner so if you want to easily or quickly expand this to make it a banner you don't have to really worry you can do it in two ways you can first of all go to image and then canvas size and then you are going to change the canvas size to the banner size that you want or better still if you want to guess or do the guess game you can choose your crop tool that is c on the keyboard and then you are going to expand it slightly like that so let's assume that you want our banner to be this big so you can open it up like this and that means that we are also going to open up our background so you open up your background or better still you can rotate it so you right click and then you are going to rotate it 90 counterclockwise so that means it is going to go left like that and then you can position it over here you are going to adjust your test so this is going to be in the middle you adjust your test like that you are going to adjust this as well and then it is in the middle and if you have any other thing or any other gadgets that you want to put at this side you can as well put it over there and make sure that your contact and any other information that you want to put on this is already there so let's see how this will look like if you add the hue and saturation this is how it will look like and yes that is how to create a very simple flyer stroke banner for your gadget sales phone sales airport earpiece any other type of gadget that you are selling you can use the same method to create something for it let me know in the comment section which other gadgets you'd want me to use to create something similar like this and i'll be glad to make a video on that as well i'll be gaining value out of this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye